times have you came to this park? How many times have you came to this park? It's like the rice look. It was on the metric system. I didn't figure it out. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Three, two, one. What's going on? You guys watch Ben TV coming to you live from the shadow of the Empire State Building in Manhattan, New York. We're opposite Legends Bar and Grill, the home of the Empire Supporters Club. And we're here with Rents. Rents, uh, you know, I think we were very frustrated. I think uh, the past few weeks of uh, games, I think, uh, dropping very winnable points after oh, yeah. the very uh, heartbreaking loss against Chief Outside, obviously. So uh, does this kind of do anything to kind of straighten the ship for you? I think it does a little bit. Um, I know I've been pretty tough on Royer, you know, because he hasn't scored since February, but that makes me forget with that. Um, Kaku was acquired to do that after running for 80 minutes, he took the penalty, made it look like it was nothing. And that's why he's on the fight. And I guess on the topic of this, uh, you know, it was extremely relieving to see Royer finally break his stuff. Yeah. You know, and I think that we kind of saw this again as we've been repeating on previous weeks of the uh, show that we need it. Yeah, he's a secondary score, probably the second. He was second highest score, the second highest tally last season. And we kind of do need his goals for when they shut down. Or assists, or any kind of combinations where something happens. He has to be involved. Four, five, four, five, four. And you know, I guess maybe looking ahead for him now, particularly, like, do you think that this is the moment for him? Do you think he goes under a tear now, like he did last um, year, or what's, what's the outlook for him? For you right honestly, I, I think last season was a fluke. Like, he won't, just like how Grella never really eclipsed his first year total. Yeah. So, I think. So, I think it just means that Velo has to pick it up. I mean, I thought he did well tonight. Velo. And Kafu was trying to throw a lot of passes, a lot of low percentage, like, if they got through, whoever was in front had to run it deep. But it's not there yet. But uh, we got a big win against a guy who, like when he ever touched the ball, I was like, oh my god, this could be the, the goal of the week, you know, and thank God it wasn't. And I guess on the topic of Florian Below, I mean, came off the bench at halftime, came off, uh, well, came on for a really call it. The uh, formation switch from three at the back going into the four, five, four, two, three, one. I think the four one four one in the first half, right? I thought that was better than what we were looking at the second half. Because Colin was like, he was just very yeah, yeah. apart, like clumsily doing it. But it's kind of ironic. Like when we trotted out the any kind of the five man defense, we were in it. We didn't do that bad defensively. And then we goals, but we changed everything around, and we gave up. And that's, I guess, sort of the trade-off, right? In regards to some of the uh, cynicism we had going in the game, particularly, I think, about the three in the back formation. But, you know... Would we have stayed in the three in the back formation? That's another thing that I think we ha and have to address here, is that, um, obviously, there was a lot of cynicism I think, on the choice that Jesse decided to go to before the game, right? Because I think this year... Uh, yeah, I mean, this year, basically, it didn't seem that... Great, you know, this uh, formation didn't really yield results when it was deployed against Chivas. The formation didn't really deploy, uh, get results when it was deployed against them. Um, I think the other game that we played three at the back was uh, Orlando. Orlando, yeah. So that was a BT. Orlando. I mean, it was a BT. But, you know, I guess uh, the question now going forward is that, like, this kind of raise your confidence in this setup for the team of that play like this? Or? I mean, getting a big win against a team that hasn't been great defensively, as we can see, you know, they were pretty hard. Yeah. Um, but it's good to just get the win, just get get back in the mix. Because you know, we were in sixth place going into the game. You know, and to get three points on the road, better goal differential, all those small little tiebreaker things, everything we need to keep pretty you know, behind head. <laughs> the East is the toughest division I've ever seen. And speaking of the East, we have the city game next week. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, yeah. Republic of the Garden. The academic rejects of all the New York City high schools being in our home stadium. And that's gonna suck. Stay in school and don't do drugs, kids. Metro Fan TV saying goodnight. <laughs> all the drugs. A lot of drugs. All the drugs. Okay, all the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>